Hey guys, Matt here. Uh, this is going to be a little video on full metal jacket versus hollow points for any sort of stockpile, storing, or shit hit the fan situation. Whatever your reason is for, for wanting to stock up on ammo. Maybe you're a prepper. Um, maybe you just, uh, because of the way things are politically speaking nowadays with the, with the climate in this country being what it is, you're worried that, you know, it's going to be harder to get a hold of ammunition. Whatever, whatever your reason is. Um, there seems to be this debate on, on hollow points versus full metal jacket rounds and which one you should try and stock up on. Now, if you've watched my channel at any period of time, you know I lean towards full metal jacket. Um, and there's several reasons for this, and I'm going to go over those here really quickly. Um, first off, I do want to recommend you go check out a channel that Haas did, um, and I don't remember the name of it. He did it here in the last two to three weeks, uh, talking about how, um, you know, how hollow point ammo was not designed to do more damage to the body. It was designed to be a safety round for police officers, for law enforcement officials, because they did not want to have to be liable for full metal jacket rounds going through people and then injuring someone else. It was a liability issue, okay? The side effect of hollow point ammunition was that it does open up and leave a larger wound channel, okay? And that is a good side effect, but that was not why the round was created, okay? So now we get into what is better to actually stock up on. And for me, honestly, it comes down to a couple things. First is price, okay? Uh, hollow points tend to be about 35 to 40% more in price than full metal jackets. In other words, uh, let's say a standard round, a standard box of 50 rounds, okay? I'm gonna pay 50, or let's say I pay 10 bucks for 50 rounds of silver bear, okay? If I were to buy hollow points, on average, I would pay anywhere from 1350 to 14 bucks for that same box, okay? So that right there is average, what, about 20 rounds of more of ammunition I can buy for the same money by going with full metal jacket over hollow points. Now that's a big deal to me because especially right now, again, with the political climate being what it is, never mind the fact that I am a prepper, so for that, those reasons I stock up as well, um, the political climate being what it is now, um, you know, I see things as, well, I want to get as much ammo as possible, as quickly as possible, because I don't know how things are going to go, politically speaking, and, you know, with my right to buy ammunition. So, I want to try and get as much as possible now, while it's still readily available, okay? Um, the other reason why I lean towards Full Metal Jacket is because, unless you are concerned that you are going to have to face roving bands of drooling 300-pound football players who are hopped up on meth and LSD, Nine times out of ten, in fact, I'll even go so far as to say 99% of the time, you shoot somebody with a full metal jacket, even once, they're going to stop what they're doing. Okay, They're going to go, I just got shot, and one of several things is going to happen. They're going to turn and run. They're going to fall down. They're going to start crying, begging, pleading. They're going to crawl away. They're going to do something. In, in other words, they're going to stop whatever they were doing when you shoot them, whether it's a hollow point or not. Okay? That's just human nature. That's your survival instinct kicking in. When you realize you've been shot, and this is, this is again, unless you're concerned with somebody who's out of their mind because they're hopped up on drugs, um, they're going to stop what they're doing. Okay? It, it does not require a full metal or a hollow point to, to complete that task. Now, that being said, for the purposes of the same reason police officers carry hollow points, I do stock up some hollow points for, this is the gun I keep by the bed, and then I've got one, uh, hollow points that I keep in my carry gun. But it is not for any other purpose other than I don't want to have to be liable for sh having a, a round to go through someone, exit them, and then injure someone else. Now, I do have a little personal story I want to tell because there's this myth that somehow if you're shooting hollow points, that uh, inside your home, that uh, they're less likely to go through walls and injure someone. That's complete BS, guys. Um, I had a brother-in-law who was a police officer, and he was also stupid, at least sometimes in his life. Um, he was cleaning his gun one day in his bedroom, and uh, it was a 9mm pistol. He had it loaded with, I believe, Golden Saber hollow points, and um, he uh, had a round-in chamber. The gun went off, it went through the wall in his bedroom, through his son's room, through the wall, into the living room, and into a couch. Years later, when I was going through the couch, uh, helping to sell it at a garage sale, I pulled out the round that had fallen into the bottom of the couch. Okay, And it was a hollow point round just like these. The tip of the hollow point had been completely filled with drywall. The bullet had retained its shape, and it had simply acted like a full metal jacket round. Okay, That, to me, is ultimate proof that just because it's a hollow point, doesn't mean it cannot go through a wall and still severely injure someone, okay? It can, guys. That is just a myth. 
So anyway, guys, that's it. Basically what it boils down to, in my opinion, stock up on full metal jackets. If you got a carry gun or home defense gun, keep a few, uh, keep it loaded up with hollow points. But what you're going to stockpile, what you're going to stock up on, should be full metal jacket, in my opinion. Anyway, that's it, guys. Appreciate you watching. Uh, questions, comments, video responses. We'll talk to you later, guys. Thanks.